Joining me today is, in my opinion, the finest poker operator in the world. He's the man behind JP Poker, the Norwegian Poker Championship, and of course, the Irish Open. JP McCann, how are things? That's, that's some introduction. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, Jamie. Yeah, good. I'm sitting here on the beach in, the, in Barbados at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's good, good to see that, you know, the live poker obviously uh, isn't happening. So good to see you're taking a bit of quality time for yourself now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the closest I'm getting to a holiday this year, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so JP, yeah, we know um, we know how 2020 has affected uh, live poker, uh, but I just well, we'll speak about that more in a in a bit. But uh, there's some good news at least for the for poker players in the online felt uh, with the upcoming Irish Open uh, Winter Festival taking place in Paddy Power Poker and Betfair Poker. Uh, can you just tell me a bit about kind of the, the background to the series and how this uh, this idea came about? Yeah, so prior to this year's Irish Open, prior to being cancelled, um, Paddy Power were they they were starting to be, become more involved in becoming full sponsors of events, and they were trying to put their their clout behind um, the Irish Open. As you know, obviously the Irish Open didn't happen this year, um, and then they they were looking to make a big push for twenty twenty one with the Irish Open, um, and the, the original plan was they were going to start satellites forward in June and um, as, obviously as you know um, everything that was going on with the, the coronavirus things kept getting pushed back and pushed back so we kept on to not start the satellites because we just we didn't know where we were with it type thing yeah. um, and then we so no, normally Paddy's would start our sats in October November with their first kind of big super satellite was always kind of traditionally on Stevens's night and then that was the launch before the iPokers have their weekly sats the following week. So it was more of a Paddy's wanted to do something to engage with their with their players who had played the Irish Open in previous years. It was it was looking increasingly like 2021 Irish Open wasn't going to happen. And so it was more of a case of trying to do something that they want to show a bit of the bit of customers who've been loyal to them down the years and have a bit of a giveaway um, at Christmas. So it kind of originated from that. Um, and then there was those talks that maybe we actually one of the plans that we had for the Irish Open this year was we were going to do a bit of a, a live tour with, with Paddy's going around to various casinos where we'd have like I don't know a 10 or 25 grand guaranteed with X amount of seats type thing. Yeah. Um so that was that was part of Paddy's commitment that they had to the Irish Open. And then all the, the plans that we had made kind of as as the weeks kept going on, the one plan after another, we we, we just couldn't do on the live felt. So this was the, the natural progression. To, to move it online and sure everybody can play it online and uh, it's great it's, it's going it's going to be a great festival they, they put a lot into it they have a lot of added money they have a leaderboard there with 10,000 extra but I think the top five again seats to the Irish Open and then each night everybody that plays gets um, everybody say the, the top three in each of the terms get a, a free ticket to the main event so yeah fair play to Paddy's they're putting a lot behind it and they're um, it's uh, it's good to see that our partners and sponsors of the Irish Open, while we're not at the live felt, are committed to the event, uh, which is encouraging for when the event gets back going. That we'll we'll hopefully kick on from where we where we stopped. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, yeah. I suppose kind of just the yeah the Paddy Power brand itself, obviously, is um, you know, such a big brand in Ireland. Um, and I, like I definitely remember kind of Paddy Power Poker always was felt kind of synonymous with Irish poker. Um, so it's definitely, it's great to be seeing Paddy Power trying to kind of reestablish that link between themselves and kind of the everyday player. Um, the So the tournament buy-ins, uh, there, there's three events on uh, every night. It's starting on the, the 26th of December. Uh, it's a 50, 50 euro, 20 euro and 10 euro buy-ins uh, each night. So I think it's definitely one of those that the the price point is very much aimed at the uh, Joe the kind of the, Joe the regular kind of everyday player. Yeah, hundred percent, and that was part of. So uh, I, I sat down with the guys there, Paddy's um, Scott and Brian, and we were looking at. Um, it, I think they had the Royal Battle Pass or the Royal Battle Series, which was which was held in November, and they had a, another similar one there at the end of summer. And as I said, most of their players is geared more and more towards the recreational players. Mm. Um, so th this is exactly what we're trying to do with this. And I know even for allowing players to qualify for cheap, like 
they have um, spin and goals happening and stuff like that. So, but certainly at, at the price point you just mentioned there, it's very affordable. Mm. And that's, it's very much in line with the Paddy Power ethos, which is very similar to our own line um, with the Irish Open and, and how we try and attract recreational players. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's not just about the poker, when you, as you know, when you come to the Irish Open, when you come to, to the live event, um, and this is why Pad- Paddy's wanted to keep the price point cheap there for people that they could come in and they could play a couple of tournaments. And I know they have a tournament there, um, I think it's the, the 30th of December, the Ambassadors Tournament, which I believe you're one of the Ambassadors. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they're they're shooting high, they're shooting high this year. Yeah, so. uh, I, I know they've got a couple, they've got a couple of fo- footballers, I believe, coming in playing, yeah. and uh, there's a bounty on all their heads. So they're they're trying to do something fun. And I know on uh, New Year's Eve, they have a Paddy Power themed uh, tournament, which I don't know what the, the full team of that is, but I've been told it's going to be good. Um, but yeah, it, again, it's you are mindful of the fact that this year is not going to be like any other year. Um, normally, um, we were talking off camera there uh, about my family's tradition on Stevens Day where we'd go to the pub and we'd just watch the football and all the betting on the horses. So I think this year it's going to be a very subdued year for most people and a lot of people are going to be sitting at home. Um, I suppose there's only so much your family can take over Christmas for yourself <laughs> to a bed and play poker for a few hours. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, as you said, the uh, it's yeah the kind of the, the fifty or twenty or ten euro buy-ins every night. It, it gives people the opportunity. I think to um, I think the thing with a lot of these kind of leaderboards is sometimes it can be uh, it can be difficult to commit to to playing a full leaderboard or going for it. But um, with this, it's ten thousand euro added, so it's not not take from the prize pool. And as you said, you're looking at kind of eighty euro buy-ins every night. So. It's affordable enough that you know, if if you're going well, it's uh, it's definitely something you can kind of uh, give it a give it a good go. It's affordable enough. Um, as I said ten thousand euro added by Paddy Power, top three every night getting a hundred euro ticket uh, to the main event. The main event is fifty k guaranteed, um, and it's taking place day one A is on January first, and day one B is on January second. Uh, loads of other different events. There's a PLO event, six max PKOs, and as JP mentioned, uh, the Ambassador Tournament. Uh, there'll also be several Twitch streamers covering it, uh, including Conor O'Driscoll, Phil McGrath, and Mark Bennett. So I'll post some links uh, to their channels in the description below. Um, as you said, there, JP. You, uh, aside from all that, the time you'll be spending with your family, will you be jumping in a couple of events yourself? I'll definitely play a couple of events. Yeah. Now I'm not sure how good I'll play if I jump in on Steams as I could I could do my my normal play three hands, bust we get there, play another two hands and hop to the bar with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the, just just another thing regarding the leaderboards I meant to say there, and you, you touched on people can't commit to playing uh sometimes for a full week for a leaderboard. Um so I believe what they are taking your best 10 results. Because obviously, with it being Christmas, people have commitments with family coming over or whatever the case may be. So it's not a case that they're the event is running for ten days, I think, in total, maybe eleven. No, I'm wrong. It's running for eight days, Saturday to Sunday. Um. So, yeah. So obviously, there's there's quite a bit of tournaments there in it. So they're not looking. For, they're not expecting people to try and commit to the, the full schedule, and they'll take your they'll, they'll take your best results uh, for the leaderboard. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be giving away uh, five 10 euro tickets for this series to be with a chance of winning. All you have to do is retweet this video with your Paddy Power or Betfair screen name. Uh, so that's your poker screen name, not your login names. Uh, I'll post further details in the description below. But uh, as we said, yeah, starting on the 26th of December, uh, running up until uh, the 3rd of January, I think is the final day of it, whatever the, the Sunday, uh, the first that's Sunday of the new year is. So I said, uh, should be a bit of crack. And uh, as I said, good to see kind of Paddy Power connecting with the, the Irish poker community again. And uh, should be hopefully uh, a bit of crack for people to have over Christmas. 